Couple of block assists. Block assist counts as half a block. Ball hit down the line, wide, untouched. Point to Hawaii. It is 10 to 4. And Mike Pirrett says he's seen enough as he has to call his second and final timeout of game number one. Chris? Well, John, Hawaii just lost a volleyball legend as Tom Daddy Hain died of natural causes last Saturday. His accomplishments and contributions to Hawaii and USA Volleyball were numerous, but probably the most famous were his participation on the first Hawaii team to travel to the national championships in 1956. His membership on the 63 and 67 Pan American Game teams and his captaining of the 68 Olympic team in Mexico City. But for those who knew him, he will always be known as Daddy, a larger-than-life bull of a man with a gentle, fair, honest way about him that touched the lives of generations of volleyball players across the United States. Our sympathy and condolences go out to his family, Mayor, Mark, and Kissy, and we thank them for sharing their daddy with the rest of the volleyball world. Hey, Brock, why don't you get a McDonald's? Oh, man, get this. They got Tina Turner's greatest hits. Elton John's classics, Roxette's latest. Let's go to McDonald's. Yeah. Got Garth Brooks favorites too. Each pulling CD is $5.99. Cassettes $3.99 when you buy any extra value meal or large sandwich. One dollar from each CD and cassette benefits Ronald McDonald Children's Charities. Mr. Brooks, would you? Can I sign it? It's here. No. Trey for Tina Turner. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. That was my only Tina. Stay with the flock. Stay with the flock. Stay with the flock. Hey, hey, hey who's that? that? Don't be a sheep. Dare to compare Panasonic sound to the other guys. <laughs> Stay with the flock. Stay with the flock. Stay with the flock. Hey, hey, who's that? Don't be a sheep. Dare to compare Panasonic sound to the other guys. <laughs> What do you get in a Dodge Neon at just $94.75 for starters? Something priceless called peace of mind. In the form of standard driver and front passenger airbags, high strength steel beams in the doors, and the very real reassurance of 132 horses under the hood. So even at $94.75, safety wise, it's loaded. Say hello to Dodge Neon at your Hawaii Dodge dealer. Back to volleyball action at hand. Chris, thank you for that nice tribute. A class act all the way. Tommy Haney will be known and remembered by so many for so long. And uh, I thank K5 and the people out there for allowing us the chance to recognize such a great man. T. Williams picks up Hawaii's 11th point. Mike Purich is running the timeouts in game one. He's starting to see this one slip away, which has been the story of the first seven matches this year. Outside Mitchell off the block. Unbelievable almost quickness to keep it up. Chance now for the Anteaters. Oh, but a bad set. Now Robbins. Yes. I would, I would hate to use the cliche, but Robin Amo playing Long Beach State type defense on this, Chris. Really quick. Look at this. She was leaning to her left, was able to pop back to her right and make it happen. She is really playing well. Look at Jocelyn Robbins. I was just about to say, one of the things that's keeping her in the starting lineup is no mistakes. I'm glad I didn't say it before she hit that ball out, but you know, she's had no errors tonight except for that one right there. She's done a great job of keeping the ball in play, swinging hard when she had good swings. By the way, I want to say hi to a big fan of Jocelyn Robbins, her auntie, Landa Lastimato, who's watching us tonight. Landa, hope you're feeling better. And keep watching, because Jocelyn loves you. Chastity Kanoa checks in for the Wahine. And Sarah Chase gets a kill for the Wahine to get it back. So Key will take a little bit of a break. Key's still fighting some tendonitis in her knee. It's not her shin. Her shin is not bothering her. It's a little tendonitis, but as long as she keeps serving okay and getting some digs, she'll play some back row. Watch this. New serve by Chase. She's been working on this jump serve. But How not long? working hard enough. How long <laughs> has she worked on that? I, I believe you could do that one, Chris. Look at her. She's embarrassed. She is. She's trying to hide. She's turning red. But she hey, this says, is a great match to do this. If you're up 12-4, there's nothing to lose. It's a great time to do it. I told Dave I think he has to have more jump servers on his team. Uh, although, it's not something you necessarily coach you know either you got players a jump server or you don't right? 
I think it's great to have a jump server two on, on every team. There's a bad hit by Brooks. So Robbins hits long, Chase hits into the net, and Brooks hits out. So Hawaii had only one error. Now they've got three errors in game one. That time nicely hit. Robbins was about nine feet from the net. She couldn't put it down. So smartly uses the top of the hands of the blockers to get the side out. Another part of her game, Chris, it's you got to be smart to play good volleyball. Especially the outside, left outside hitters. They always have two blockers out there almost all the time. So you've got to find creative ways to get over, around, and through the block. You've got to have different tempos on your shots as well. 13-5 as Poppy Edwards makes her first mistake of the night. Chase calls, says, I'll take the set. Robbins goes cross court. Nice pass from Chase from behind the back. Gets it. Oh, Sarah Chase with a great pass, Chris. Facing the wrong way. You know, in the middle of that rally, Mike Pierrot stood up because he thought Chase had thrown a ball to set on the outside, and uh, Wayne Lee didn't think so. No question about that one. Sarah Chase gets an ace. 15-5, Hawaii hides in game number one.